Hey, what is up, everybody? Zero Fats here, aka Cam Jennings, coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Uh, this is my last day of the Parabolic Content Engine launch cycle. It's a four day launch cycle. After today, Parabolic Content Engine is still going to be open. Uh, you're still going to be able to buy it, so don't freak out if. Uh, you want to get it but you just don't want to get it now it's still going to be available the only thing is it is going to get more expensive what's up andy how you doing man there's my top affiliate right there he's the man um it, it's still going to be open you guys it's just going to go up in price it's going to go up to 27 bucks so right now it's only a third of the price so that's pretty cool um, but I want to give some shout outs real quick. Um, I've had a four day, uh, I've had a four day contest here. I've had some great support from a lot of really cool affiliates, man. Uh, like I said, there's Andy Brocklehurst. He was my number one affiliate, uh, all week here. He's done an awesome job. Uh, also I want to give a shout out to Aaron Chandra. He's an awesome guy. Very funny. Uh, he came in second place so far. The contest is still going on. So it's, you know, it can change, but I did want to give a shout out to some of these guys, Lee Cole, Barry Rogers, Nathan Zadwarney, uh, awesome guys uh, that came out and supported me on this, really appreciate it, you guys. Philip Lopez, Nick Mann, Dan Marks, Idris Farouk, Idris uh, helped me out a lot on the group Giants launch uh, back in January, uh, he came out and supported me on this, really appreciate it, Idris. Uh, Famsung Tong came out and helped me su support me on this. Thanks a lot, my man. Um, then a lot of guys outside of the top ten that came out and helped me a little bit as well, man. You know, people like Janelle Livet, Alessandro Zamboni, Alakasa, Reed Florin, Kevin Everett, Sam Breeze, Iandel Carmen. Uh, a bunch of people, man. A bunch of people. I go on and on, guys. Um, you know, with these launches. It's funny, man, because you got guys partnering up to do launches now. Three, four guys partnering up. So that creates a really big force to launch. So a little guy like me just launching by himself to be able to compete with these guys, um, I can't do that without uh, affiliate support from awesome people like you guys. So uh, just me by myself, I can't, I can't run it up like that and compete like that on that level. Uh, just by myself so it took a lot of people helping me to be able to do that so I really appreciate all the support you guys um, one thing I will say I don't even know why I got these headphones on but <laughs> one thing I will say uh, this has been a pretty cool uh, launch cycle I learned a lot um, I didn't get the deal of the day um, which I'm not really that worried about man because deal of the day at the end of the day you just gonna have some luck to get that award I mean, it's awesome to be able to get it, but there's some luck involved. You know, you can't always predict getting something like that. But the deal of the day award aside, man, it was pretty good. Uh, this product's going to end up pushing over 300 units. Um, you know, what do I got to complain about? My dad worked construction for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> I can't complain at all, man. It's been good. One thing I will say, um, I was able to maintain interest in my product launch. I lost some momentum. It's the natural curve of a product launch. You start really high on the first day, and it goes down a little bit on the second day, a little bit more on the third day, and on the fourth day, it comes back up a little bit because of your scarcity, you know? So it comes back up. But generally, that's the natural curve of a launch cycle. I did pretty good. Um, one thing I did to keep momentum up, guys, was I added things to my download page throughout my launch cycle. Uh, this time around, I added a case study every day of my launch that had reviewers and affiliates going on to buy. Hey, what's up, Delilah Taylor? What's up, Mark? Um, that had that had my. This is an unanticipated. Okay, I I um I was putting the case studies and extra content on my download page throughout launch cycle to keep momentum up, to keep people going back to my download page, to bring in new people with new interesting stuff. Um, but something I didn't anticipate was I had reviewers 
going and buying my product. I had affiliates going and buying my product just so they could get those case studies because there was different download pages. I had one download page for my uh, review access. Then I had another download page for my customers. So the customers had their own separate page just for customers. Um, and I didn't anticipate that. So uh, keep in mind, man, when you launch products, if you can plan to add content to your download page for your customers throughout the launch cycle, um, man, that was really positive interest with that. Got a lot of uh, positive emails from customers throughout these last three or four days now uh, about that. Uh, a lot of people bought. Uh, and when you're adding things to the download page, it gives you a chance to talk about your product more in a new light, like in a new angle. You get to talk about it from a different place and not just the same old thing, hitting them with the same old thing, you know. But yeah, here's this, but guess what? I just added this too. It's pretty sweet. Um, it, it gives you a chance to, to kind of like re angle it, you know. So it's pretty cool and, and it helps improve sales to me. Um, so yeah, that's it. Anyways. It is freaking snowing here, man. It's like a blizzard outside. So I got to go to the store and get some freaking groceries before we starve to death up in this piece. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, man, I got to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. It's been great. I've taken video clips of what I've been doing the last four days of this launch cycle. So I'm going to do a mini documentary. I got a ton of video. I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. Buy water and soup, I know. <laughs> but Andy, do you remember Y2K? Do, do you guys remember Y2K? We were talking about Y2K the other day. Buy a cow for milk. <laughs> That's what it needs to be too, <laughs> a cow for milk. Y2K, who remembers Y2K? Everybody thought we were gonna die. <laughs> All the clocks were gonna strike midnight on the year 2000 and all the computers were going to go no they were all going to turn into door stops nothing was going to work anymore we were supposed to get knocked back to the dark ages nothing happened man the only thing that got knocked back to the dark ages was everybody's wallet for spending so much money on supplies <laughs> airplanes were going to fall out of the sky <laughs> it was going to be crazy man one thing that didn't get knocked back was the economy, because everyone was just buying everything. <laughs> I remember, I remember uh, freaking, um, man, I remember books being sold on Y2K and everything. It was crazy. But anyways, whatever. It's all good. Anyways, I got to go to the store. I appreciate everybody being a part of this Parabolic Content Engine launch. Uh, it was a great time, fantastic time. We have to do it again. But I'm not launching in January because I'm going to focus on my membership site in January. I'll be back to do something in February. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing amazing out there. If it's snowing where you're at, stay warm, stay safe. I'll see you guys. Peace.